Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I realize I've been wearing Norwegian sweaters a lot because, well, it's been cold. So uh, anyway, you're seeing this sweater quite a bit. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, it's day 335, uh, Church in the Time of Quarantine, and it is February 16th. Uh, on this day in 600, Pope Gregory the Great uh, officially declared that God bless you is the correct response to a sneeze. So if you wonder where that, what it dates back to, we're uh, 1420 years ago. Yeah, that's where God bless you comes from. Uh, and then we've got some dictator stuff coming up. 1942, uh, Korean uh, dictator, North Korean dictator and uh, perm enthusiast, uh, Kim Jong-il, uh, he was born. And then uh, another dictator in 1959, Fidel Castro uh, became dictator of Cuba on this day. Officially, he became prime minister, but you know we all know what that means. Okay, uh, three announcements today. So um, reminder, tomorrow, 8 to noon, in the parish hall, come by, get your ashes, and um, that'll be be good. We'll have the lot should be plowed. Everything should be good to go. So um, see you somewhere tomorrow between 8 and noon. And again, if for some reason you can't make that time, please let me know, and we can set up a, uh, a different time for you to receive ashes. Uh, going along with that, Attached to, there'll be two links uh, in the broadcast. Well, I don't know if you can, if that helps a whole lot. But the second one, if you go to this one first, uh, is the service for Ash Wednesday. So you can watch that uh, before you come to uh, Ash Wednesday service tomorrow morning. And then uh, the last thing is, since Lent is beginning, I'm thinking next Wednesday, not this Wednesday's Ash Wednesday, we'll start um, sort of Lenten series on Zoom, something like that. Um, I don't know. We usually do them around dinner time. If that works best for you, my thought is maybe around seven o'clock on Wednesdays. If you have different opinions, please let me know. But uh, to start a, an, a Linton study series next Wednesday uh, around seven. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, that gets us to trivia. So yesterday's uh, question was to uh, name the city that was established at the confluence of the Missouri and uh, Mississippi River. Uh, that was St. Louis, Missouri, uh, and we had correct answers from Lee Nelson and Glenn Jones, so congratulations to both of you. Now we get a little Egyptian history. On this day in 1923, English archaeologist Howard Carter opened the inner burial chamber of this pharaoh, and in there he found his tomb and his sarcophagus. So who's the Egyptian pharaoh that uh, English archaeologist Howard Carter's um, tomb was? He found this guy's tomb on this day in 1923. Okay. All right, well, Lent starts tomorrow, so I've got a reflection from John of the Cross. Uh, it's very, uh, well, it's, it, it feels like Lent, a lot of mortification in there. See what you think. It says this, The road and ascent to God then necessarily demands a habitual effort to renounce and mortify the appetites. The sooner this mortification is achieved, the sooner the soul reaches the top. But until the appetites are eliminated, a person will not arrive, no matter how much virtue he practices, for he will fail to acquire perfect virtue, which lies in keeping the soul empty, naked, and purified of every appetite. Until slumber comes to the appetites through the mortification of sensu sensuality, and until this very sensuality is stilled in such a way that the appetites do not war against the spirit, the soul will not walk out to genuine freedom, to the enjoyment of union with its beloved. All right, well, there's some John of the Cross. Get your Spanish mystics for today. And uh, we'll end with the uh, prayer for Epiphany 6. O God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All right, have a great day, and look forward to seeing all of you uh, tomorrow morning.